Hi, I'm Diana from Kitchissippi United Church. I'm really excited to have you join us for some online activities with friends from Country Fun Nature Camp. So, hello everybody, I'm Sarah and I've been a member of Kitchissippi United Church ever since I was a baby. Um, I'm really excited to have joined the Country Fun team and we'll be working together to create some really cool online events. And hello, my name is Camila and just like Sarah, I've been the baby from Country Fun Nature Camp and being part of Kitchissippi, it's been super fun and I'm looking forward to having you join our Zoom calls. For Remembrance Day, what I usually do is that, of course, at 11 a.m., I stand and take my two minutes of silence remembering those who fought, as well as when I was, back when I was in elementary school, I was introduced to a song called A Pittance of Time by Terry Kelly, and every year I watch it, and it's a great uh, way to show how people are respecting those who have fought in the war and I thought it was a fantastic video that um, people Um, so for Remembrance Day, for um, any camp family that was registered in 2019 and 2020, we sent out uh, a little envelope that has these really cool activity kits on how to make um, a dove um, and a poppy. Um, so that's how they end up looking. Um, but how you make them is you take the four, um, you take four of the red hearts, um, and what you'll want to do is you'll want to use the brass fastener that I, I have right here um, and just poke a little hole at the same spot on each of the red hearts. Um, and what you'll do is you'll then do the same hole in the center of the black center of the poppy. Um, and then what you'll do is you'll line them all up um, and use the brass fastener to keep them together. Uh, and then you'll have your own little poppy. Um, and Cedar will talk about what you can do on those poppies in a minute. Uh, and the same thing kind of goes with the dove. There's a lot of different ways that you can attach the uh, white heart onto the dove because you can fold it to make it look more like it's flying with wings. Um, if you fold it more upwards like that. Um, and, and there's a lot of different things that you can include on your dove to make it your own. So you take the dove and you take the heart and you line up the holes that you create um, and use the brass fastener on them to uh, keep them together like so. So what we've done at Kitchissippi United in the past was to make personal poppies. A lot of the stories that we've heard about Remembrance Day sometimes feel like they're a long time ago. But we want your Remembrance Day to be personal to your family, to find some kind of connection that's really meaningful to you. So this is a chance to make a poppy that has real memories attached, things that make sense for all ages. So here are some examples. In our church, we previously had people write on each heart. So we asked them who or what or when they were remembering. And then we gathered those hearts together, four at a time, to make the poppies. And so we ended up with poppies that were really collections of memories for Remembrance Day. Some people said, I'm remembering my great grandfather who went to war and had a really hard time and needed some help when he came back. Some people said, I'm remembering uh, a family member who serves in the military and who might be deployed sometime. Other people said, I'm remembering my home country where I have family who are still living and a place that isn't always safe, where there still is conflict today. Some people remembered people who were known to them or stories that they had heard. So 
Some people wrote things like, I'm remembering the story I heard from my grandmother about how it was hard to find certain vegetables during the war years. So we ended up with poppies that were really personal, that had real memories attached to them. And it made it a little bit closer. We're hoping that that works for your family. So to put on each heart, somebody or something or somewhere that you're remembering. And then to go along with those memories, we wanted to include our hopes and prayers for peace. So that's where your dove comes in. And we did the same thing a few years ago at church. We passed around the doves and the hearts and we asked people to think about what are their prayers for peace and also some actions. So for your family, you can use that dove and write down what is your prayer for peace? What do you imagine it looking for? What are you asking for God's help? But also what is our job to do to be peaceful? So you can make a peace dove to go along with your remembrance. So my family's prayers for peace are that people of all different perspectives can take the time to listen and that God can help inspire us in our hearts, that we can start being peaceful right here at home and that God will help us build a better world.